a mod that I'm actually excited about. Everything we've done in the car so far is like kind of mandate, not mandatory, but like necessary and it's not exciting. It's, yeah, it's maintenance. So today we're gonna be installing this. I don't know if it has a name, but it's a cat back for this. And I was gonna go headers, but we're not doing full headers because there's a good reason for that. So we got the cat back, we got it from Wish. This is the second thing that we got from Wish, and this was from the States. Literally like a week after I said I was gonna buy, like do the whole Civic build, Wish started selling these things. You get these, this is the, you get the same thing I checked and it's like on eBay, on Amazon, probably elsewhere. I didn't really dig too deep. But I was cheapest on Wish, I got a Wish. It was $121. Full cat bag, it's got a four and a half inch tip. <laughs> it's gonna Wait, be you so loud. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. $121 Wish exhaust on the car, and hopefully it sounds, I don't expect it to sound like, you know, put it on and have it sound like it's an SRT, but I certainly don't want it to sound like I just started my weed whacker. So we're hoping for the best. Do you wanna do the honors of opening the box? I actually really hope that what I ordered is inside the box. <laughs> I always unbox things first, but I wanted to unbox this on here for you guys, and I'm nervous. It's not even, Ooh. it's not even like, oh, this is, oh, what the, look how big that is, it's bigger than mine. <laughs> this is 100%, this is retarded, the riciest thing I've ever purchased. Oh, dude, that is literally, this is like maybe an inch, maybe one inch. And that is four and a half. Okay, let's see what else we got. In the box of goodies. Why is there so much piping? Well, but the car is like one foot long. Like we don't need so much friggin' pipe. So there is no, uh, no, oh, there it is. I was gonna be pissed if there was no hardware. Not bad for 121 bucks. The resonator. Is it a resonator though? That's not a resonator. <laughs> has just a, a little bit of a bigger pipe welded in there. No, the welds actually look pretty nice. I think the brand of this was called DNA, but like, I don't know what, what it, it doesn't have like a name. It's not like the, like Nvidia N1. It's just like called DNA motor and cap act. Like that is the, a lot for this tiny ass car. That's a lot of pipe. <laughs> Hopefully it's not the bottom under there. Here you go, mate. So we just need to- Start over there. Well, you just need to undo that bolt, those bolts. Yeah, that's rust in my eye. Yeah, buddy, that's where you want the rust, right in the eye. Fuck you, get out of my eye. You guys always comment this, you make the Asian do the work shit. This man, when we first started doing car stuff together, he'd let me help. I did like, a lot. And now, this guy is just like first to the race every time just beats me to whatever we're doing because I'm trying to make good content for you guys But it's not me being lazy. It's this guy. Maybe I'm a little lazy it's still this guy's fault I do have to say though from being under this car for the first time ever it is pretty clean for its age I've seen a lot worse underneath a lot newer um. <laughs> Yep, it came out <laughs> <laughs> Roll this over and listen to all the rust inside of it. <laughs> Do you hear it? Oh my god. Dude, I'm excited to make this thing go ying, 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 like a lawnmower. Start my car with just the header. <laughs> yeah, we can. Do you want to start it? Yeah. Okay, take this. I'm going to start it. Oh, fuck it. Not even Dude, 3,000. <laughs> what a great question, Morgan. I have never washed this car. I have never once washed this car. The guy who we bought it from said he washed it for us to come look at it, but he lied because there was poo all over it. And since taking ownership of this Ferrari, I have not done a single thing. You can tell actually right here, my favorite location on the car. This, when it's after it rains, this actually is bright green. It's, it's like moss or mold or something and it's just growing and it's like algae and I just let it grow. I think it's it's part of the heritage of the Civic. So to sum up your question, no, I have never washed this car and I don't plan on it. Always want to put the camera down and break shit, but get off. Okay, well, we went to take the bolts off the cat. Thankfully we did this when it was not on the car and uh, well, we broke two of them. That's what we've done. We completely fucked these two. Emerson says he has a plan. Yeah, we'll drill them up. So now, I told you guys I didn't do anything yet as far as more exhaust, but now we're gonna need more exhaust. We need at least a test pipe or something because this is, I mean, it's gonna work for now, but it's janky. But I guess the whole build is janky, so. All right, you wanna drill these out? We're gonna cut that off and then drill it out so that we can put a new nut and bolt through it. We have two, four, six, seven. They were prepped for us to F it up. Shout out to these guys for giving us enough hardware. Want me to saw it? Yes. Right there. 
cutting it. I literally didn't put force on it. It fell out. Oh shit, you forgot to tighten it. I hate Hondas. My watch died. That's how long we've been doing this. When you work on older cars, it, all, it never goes as expected. Like when I do work on the BRZ, it's like you're doing an exhaust, you know? Give me an hour, it's done. We've been here since seven. We started at like 7.30 and it's 10. But we finally have this figured out. So we got through, let's just see. We got through all three of these holes and then this is the hardware that the exhaust came with. So we got it through to the point where this fits in all these holes. This is the stupidest thing ever. Like it's literally, just cause the cat was old and it broke and the nuts just destroyed themselves. We've been doing this for hours. So we're done that. We got the hangers. We're just taking the hangers off now. We're gonna bolt all this up. And then we can finally put it on and start it. I'm even more excited so that we can get a turbo so that we can get headers so that we can get power and better noise. Guess what? What? This was so exhausting. <laughs> You're hilarious. Yeah, I got a light so we can see what we're doing too. Dude, Hangers? Last night I had a dream I was a muffler and I woke up exhausted. You're such a loser. Oh, you're funny as fuck. So we're almost there. We just have the muffler left and we have it at this stage right here. So we have the full exhaust bolted up without the muffler. The cat's pretty much destroyed and we have no other like muffling. That's uh, not really a muffler anyways, but. full track car mode. Okay, let's put this bad boy on. And hopefully it sounds a little better than that. Holy shit. It's way too long. We've been fighting with this for so long and here's what's going on. We decided this exhaust is meant for all Civic types. It says it's meant for all Civic types, but we've decided that it was based off of the sedan model. And the issue that is arising now, everything was perfectly fine. I mean, like us having to rebolt the cat and stuff, that was our fault. Well, the car's fault for being so old. All the piping up to this point is perfect. Everything sits perfect. I Like, I honestly am very impressed. But when we get to here, there's the hangers up there, and this is exactly how this muffler should sit, right? So the, the hangers line up, and it sticks out just the tip of the muffler. But if you look over here, we're about two, two and a half inches of pipe too long. And we're able to make it fit if we don't use the hangers. So obviously we're, we can't not use the hangers forever, but for today, the hangers are here and this is so far forwards. Right now it's actually latched into the frame of the, the car. Don't leave this video because in like five seconds, you're gonna see tomorrow when I get this fixed. Before you guys say anything, I know that this is like a cheap build and it's like, you guys are saying rice, but <laughs> this is rice and we hate it because we want this to be a nice car We want this to be clean and we want people to look at it and be like, you know, that's a nice car like good job We don't want it to be rice The only way we can put this on is like I said to put the hangers up inside the actual frame of the bumper and have it just hooked into there because for the pipes to connect, it's like I said, two and a half inches too long. It looks so stupid It sticks out literally a foot at least like it's, it's so <laughs> bad, it's so bad, it's so bad. Oh, it's horrible, it's actually horrible. We're gonna do this so that I can go home and then tomorrow we're gonna take it to a muffler shop. We're just gonna get them right here behind the muffler to just lob off like two, three maybe inches. We're gonna give you a start. And then tomorrow once it's fixed, we'll give you some drive-bys. It's like loud and kind of raspy, but like not obnoxious. Is there any leaks? No leaks? <laughs> okay, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see right now, but we took it to the muffler shop this morning and the guy basically chopped like six inches of pipe off and then where the bend was, he rebent it. So he actually took it and made it tighter to kind of suck everything in because it was like 15 inches out and <laughs> there was only six inches of pipe. So just cutting it wouldn't have done a whole lot. So he did the bend as well, which was awesome. That was super good. We've been really busy today because we're going back to Ontario like soon. So I didn't film any of that, but here's a quick look. But you can see, I think he even used a different pipe because the one he was bending, he said it was so cheap that he just didn't even want to put it back on. So I think he put a new pipe, but look how much better this looks. Thank God for this guy. It looks normal now. It just looks like a regular muffler. Like it's a huge fart can, yes, but look how much better it looks. It sucks that we had to go out of our way and get it welded, but still for the total price, it was 50 bucks to do all the welding and stuff. So for a total price of 120 plus the 50 for the weld, I mean, it's not that bad, especially if you're trying to do things on the budget side. I mean, it looks good. It sounds... And 
at idle, it's pretty quiet. It doesn't move around a whole lot. It's, it's not bad, actually. It kind of burbles a little bit. Okay, don't mind Corny. We still haven't put the, the seat in, so she's going to sit in the back like a kid. But it idles okay. And it doesn't sound bad, like I said, at low RPMs, like when you're just driving around. And it actually pops a lot. Like, there's no big backfire flames or anything. But, like, when you're just driving, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that from in the car, but it, it pops quite a bit, which is pretty cool. I don't know how much drone you guys will pick up, but you can hear just from inside, like... Oh, it just sounds like pop cans, dude. It sounds exactly like you would expect a Civic to sound. Also, I don't know if the quality of the metal affects the smell, but this exhaust smells so much worse than any other exhaust I've installed in a car. But I'm gonna do a couple drive-bys, I'm gonna do a couple like just cruising, and then I'll do a couple making sure that it sounds nice and ricey for you. Like, it backfires pretty good. I just don't know how to make it do it yet. I'm still learning that. So I, I can't really do it for you guys just on demand. But I, I'm gonna do a couple more pulls of you guys inside the car and just see if you can hear it backfire. I don't know if they'll be able to hear the backfire from inside the car because I it's hard for me to hear it, but... I was just re-watching the clips on the camera of me driving by. Dude, the thing burns oil so bad. I had no idea. You, like, I guess how would you know from being inside the car, but there's a lot of little clouds. I mean, it probably isn't bad compared to what some of you guys have seen coming to Hondas, but for me, I didn't know it burned oil at all. I guess bringing it up to Redline and bouncing it off Redline is probably not the best for it. But anyways, before the video ends, you already know what we gotta do. We got the Wish exhaust. It was 121 bucks and I'm adding the $50 to weld it because if you do buy it, I don't know what vehicles it will fit right onto and what vehicles it won't fit right onto and that's like the big thing when you buy an exhaust like my nvidia was like 900 bucks for the brz and like emerson paid a lot of money for his exhaust when you buy an exhaust it's expensive it's built for the car it bolts right up it fits perfectly first time no questions when you buy an exhaust it's 121 bucks i'm surprised it works and sounds and like does what it does very well but i didn't expect it to bolt right on so that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video i'm super super thankful that the muffler shop did such a good job they absolutely killed it they they soup they saved it really they really saved it thank you guys so much for watching we are heading off like right now catching a plane to ontario so if you're still here comment down below and say i stayed committed the next video because the next video we're flying home chris has i think he's got a skyline but he's keeping it a secret and i don't know but that's my guess is that he has a skyline and we're going to check out that. We're going home. We're going to surprise everybody. So it should be fun. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed.